Everybody, my name is David. I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis Group. Today, I'm just giving you a quick market update on what's going on in the markets. Um, for some of you, I'm sure you've already heard that the Fed will be tapering at the end of this month in November. But surprisingly, surprisingly, um, you know, the Dow and the S&P 500, 500 continues to go up. And so right now, if you look at Bitcoin, you know, to me, if the S&P 500 is going up, the Dow is going up, even though the dollar and the DXY is pretty strong, I, I would have to say, <laughs> I would imagine uh, Bitcoin should go up as well. Right now it's not. And so right here, if you look at the chart, what I want you to look at is one, the head and shoulders pattern is gone. Okay, that's just my opinion on it. And the reason why I say that is because you had a shoulder, you had a head, and you had a shoulder. However, however, it was still in play up to here, but you had to stick. And that candle is above the shoulder. So unless this is like an extremely amazingly smooth head fake where they're faking everyone out, the head and shoulder pattern is pretty much gone. That's how I look at it. Um, if anything, you might, we might actually have a reverse head and shoulders. Shoulder, head, shoulder. We, we see this candle broke above the yellow line. And now that it broke above the yellow line, you saw that that it held support. You had a wick down. It held support. And right now it's fighting on the yellow line. All right. So you don't, you know, we want that yellow line to be support because it was resistance there. Okay. You had a little, you even had some resistance here. All right. So now we want it to be our support. Um, and yeah, I mean, once again, shoulder, head, shoulder, and, you know, it should move up this way or from, you know, around here. Um, because the Dow and S&P 500 is, is going up. The, the, the market is bullish. Now, I think when the Fed starts to taper, what's going to happen is, I don't know, I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I'm not always right. Like, I saw the head and shoulders, but obviously it didn't it didn't happen the, the whole pattern didn't um come to fruition uh we just had the pattern but it didn't go down so you know i was wrong there however uh, maybe this month and december we might just see bitcoin just zoom up to like 136 130 you know anywhere between 130 to 140 thousand dollars along with the Dow and the S&P 500 is all boom and then boom, it's going to fall off a cliff. Um, that's actually a very, you know, I, I, it's a possibility. It, it's hard to say at this point. Um, so here, if we look at this chart, nah, not that chart. And remember, I, I'm getting these charts from um, Optical Art. Okay, so optical art, you might want to look him up on YouTube and, you know, sign up to the um, YouTube channel. Now, I am a, 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 a member of that chant, you know, that group. And, well, if you look here, so you also have this yellow line as, you know, if you look at it, okay, if we just look at it and be honest with ourselves, it was resistance here. You know, it hasn't, it didn't even touch. And so, you know, if it hits, I imagine it could be resistance again. But eventually, if the Dow and the S&P 500 stay strong, it's going to break out of the yellow line. And that's just, you know, so it all depends on the other markets as well. Um, you can see that it broke the supporting white line here. 
and you can see that it was support because you can see all the candles here that was getting support from it you can see it was support there you can see when it broke down it was resistance on that candle over there okay and so that's why these lines are important it did just break that line so we'll see how that plays out um but it's gonna eventually you know bitcoin is gonna have to it's gonna go sideways you don't want it to go down at this point you want it to go sideways and you know break above that yellow line uh, once again we'll, we'll see what happens now i have to say that historically when you look at bitcoin and bitcoin has a good october month then historically in november and december bitcoin does well bitcoin does well that's just historically that's how it works so you know and i did say that if bitcoin breaks the previous all-time high which it did which it did and hey even i think printed a candle above the previous all-time high so and despite the tapering, I, I, I see that as, you know, more bullish than anything, right? Um, and once again, the trend is your friend. You see that the trend is now on its way up. So, you know, unless Jerome Powell or some, or, or some black swan event happens, um, you know, despite the Fed saying that they're going to taper, which I thought might be a reason for things to go down but no um yeah we'll, we'll see how that works we'll see how that works so hopefully this month will be good now what i do expect is here on this chart i expect expect bitcoin to hit that white line right there okay and after it hits that white line, why? Because it hit here and it has support. You had a bounce. So I think it's, it's, it hits it once, it's going to bounce. Okay? You want it to bounce. At least you want it to bounce. Because if it doesn't bounce and it breaks under that white line, what well, a next support on this chart is at $60,000. And you don't want it to go there. You really want it to go like this and boom, push up. So... We'll see how the market plays out. Um, right now, honestly, like it, I'm kind of like 50-50. I don't even really know which way it's going. Uh, so I'm just telling you what I personally did is I put half of what I normally go in and out on in. I'm halfway in. And, you know, if it goes down, cool. You know, uh, but if it goes up, Cool. So if it goes down, I'm hedged because I still have I'm fifty percent out. If it goes up, no big deal because I might have lost the gains, you know, up here. You know, even if I lose the gains from this that you know a point like here, no problem. I can still you know continue to get the rest. So I don't mind losing that percentage. You know what I'm saying? You you lose whatever, six, seven, eight percent. It's not a big deal. Bitcoin, if if it goes on the cycle, maybe it'll hit like 130 something, you know, 135 to 140,000. Who knows? It, it but if Bitcoin goes down like eleven percent and I'm all in, well that really hurts. So that's my hedge. I'm halfway in. I'm now I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling anybody what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um and so yeah, um, right now it's really hard to say what's going to happen. It's really hard to say what's going to happen. I'm, I'm just being upfront with everybody. Um, and let's see. So here you look at the market. Once again, S&P 500. Boom, shot up with the taper. All right, this shot up. The Dow, sorry about that. But even the DXY, the dollar is getting strong. 
Yeah. Um, now, at, at situations like this, typically, you know, Cocoin does move pretty well, and it is moving up. So, Cocoin is delivering as always. Uh, Cocoin's market structure right now is very bullish. Is very bullish. There's no pullbacks, nothing that Bitcoin or all the other, most of these other altcoins experience. Cocoin is very bullish. It's very strong. Okay. So, and the reason is, I mean, just look at the business model. All right, and Cocoin is working on the marketing. Like, even here, you know, they're having an official SNS event, which I will go over that later. So yeah, um, I don't know what's going on with the market, but I do know Cocoin is still looking extremely good, and we'll see what happens. All right, everyone. Um, other than that, stay. You know, just. You know, God bless y'all. Uh, make sure you take good care of yourself and, you know, you're preparing for maybe um, more shortages. You know, I, I heard the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, was telling their citizens to stock up for uh, food and other, you know, um, items or products that they're going to need because there might be a shortage of it in the future. And I really wish that, you know, these other countries, their governments would just be honest with their citizens and say the same thing to them too as well. But anyway, so yeah, you might want to stock up because you just don't know things aren't looking good. Okay. And um, everyone, please stay safe out there. God bless y'all. Okay. God bless y'all and coke on.